Hello everyone. Today my video is going to be about when mass is at rest, it will want to stay at rest unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. And my second topic will be an object with more mass, aka more inertia, is more resistant to accelerating. So I hope you guys enjoy that. I right, let's get into the video. All right. As we learned in class, an object out of motion will stay out of motion unless acted upon by an external force. So in this first clip, you'll see that I push one of the carts towards the stationary one, causing it to start moving. In this example, the exterior force will be the cart that I pushed, and the cart will start moving because of that exterior external force. My bad. All right, in this next clip, I'll be demonstrating inertia. And inertia is an object's resistance to start moving. So to show this, I put weights on one of the carts, ca thus causing it to have more inertia. And I'll be pushing another cart that has no weights on it. And we'll see the effect. So as we saw in the clip, I pushed a cart that had no weights on it towards the cart that had 1500 grams on top of it. And as we learned in class, mass and inertia go hand in hand. So the more mass an object has, the more resistant it is to slowing down or speeding up. To show this, I wanted to repeat the same exact experiment, but backwards. So instead of me pushing the cart that had no weights on it, I'd be pushing the cart that had weights on it to see if the object in motion is more resistant to slowing down. Wow. All right, so that was pretty cool. I, we saw that an object with more inertia is also resistant to slowing down and also speeding up. So thank you guys for watching. That will be it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you guys want to see more videos like it, make sure to like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell icon so you guys are notified every time I drop a banger.